Contaminating the earth was my job for many years. Yes, you heard it right. Contaminating the earth was my job for many years. My business was destroying the environment. I was born in the most beautiful country in the world, after Austria, obviously, and its name is Colombia. Colombia is located at the tip northern part of South America. It's twice the size of France, to give you an idea. It's very rich in biodiversity. And it has the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean surrounding it. It has the Amazon River crossing the southern part. It has the Andean Mountains, savannas, deserts, breathtaking rainforests. And the best of all, it's populated with beautiful people, just like me and others. <laughs> I know this description may sound as an inexistent paradise, but believe me, people, it really exists, as you can see, and you are welcome to visit us someday. A few years ago, I came across for the first time with my business partner, when we showed interest in reestablishing operations in an abandoned detergent factory. We were entrepreneurs and we were very excited, so we started production of cleaning products that, by the way, were highly contaminating. I would like to ask you if you're aware that the detergents you use every day at home might be contaminating the water? Well, I have news for you. They are. And sadly, they always end up in our rivers and lakes with consequences that are honestly scary, like generating hormonal alterations in human beings and even blindness in fish. One day, while we were traveling throughout the country by car, we were discussing the fact that Colombia has the privilege to be one of the richest country in the world in water resources. And while we're in the middle of the discussion, we suddenly came across with some little children alongside the road, looking and begging for clean water to drink. And believe me, this image really touched our hearts because it made no sense that we were living in a country with such enormous water resources and many of it was heavily contaminated by our industries. So when we came back home, we sat down and we made a deep reflection and decided to immediately stop production of contaminating products. We changed our business goals and strategies, aiming to focus on water preservation. This may sound easy, but it wasn't, because formulating your products with toxic ingredients, it's profitable, it's very cheap. In our analysis, we went through, us, through some uh, facts that were really interesting about uh, contaminated water in the world. For example, fresh water in the world is 2.5% of the whole water in our planet. That around 70% of industrial waste is dumped into our bodies of water, polluting the available water supply. More than 80% of sewage in developing countries is being discharged, untreated, polluting rivers, lakes, and coastal areas. And the worst of all, according to UNICEF, more than 3,000 children die every day around the world due to the consumption of contaminated drinking water. This, unfortunately, is reality. So we decided to seek for a solution. Our objective was to find new ways to develop non-contaminating products. After several months of, <coughs> of uh, investigation, 
Our research team worked through the functionalization of nanoparticles to reduce the size of grease and dirt into very small levels in a very short period of time. We chose to work with natural solvents that would not affect nature in any way, not even in the ingredients extraction, nor in the end, the end user phase. Our goal was to manufacture finished products that could perform cleaning tasks without the use of water. This is what we call waterless cleaning. We worked with citrus, such as lemon, extracting the oil from its peels. And by the way, with this we were contributing to avoid the disposal of these peels as waste, allowing agrobusiness industries to use them in the production of organic fertilizers and compost. With this oil, we combine it with other components, building a basic matrix based on nanotechnology. This matrix, linked to others, worked on removing grease and dirt from specific surfaces. As you can see, the magic in our, in our technology is in how we approach a specific dirt problems and solve them by making very slight changes to our formulas, to our matrix. Now we finally reached a new discovery, a new concept in waterless cleaning, and we name it hyperdegradation. Now, I'm going to, <clears throat> to try to, to explain it in a very simple way so you won't have to Google it. <laughs> Basically, because nothing appears on it yet. Now, hyperdegradation is the susceptibility that grease and dirt have to be significantly reduced by a substance we call hyperdegrading, which action time is immediate. By the look in your faces, I think I'm going to try a simpler definition. I'm sorry, okay. Hyperdegradation is just degrading and removing grease and dirt from a surface very fast. Don't worry, this works much simpler than the definition I just gave you. Even your child can use them. You don't need any sophisticated machines or equipment to apply it. For domestic purposes, you may use a simple bottle sprayer and for industrial applications, you may use a manual fumigator like the one I'm displaying. Now, how does, our, the, <coughs> how does our product and technology work and is used? Very simple, I'm gonna show you a short video. It would last only half an hour. And you can see how simple it works. Now, you simply apply the product, you rub if necessary, and then remove with a towel or cloth. Apply the product, rub if necessary, and remove with a towel or cloth. It won't scratch any surface because hyperdegradation takes place in terms of second and it transforms grease and dirt into a soft, creamy mud. And it generates an electromagnetic repulsion effect simultaneously that releases grease and dirt from the surface, making it very easy to remove. As simple as you can see. You don't need any water to rinse. You don't have to wait for the product to act. This technology is not only solving a cleaning issue as it, it's saving water. And believe me that the water that we save is water that will not be polluted and instead it can be used for human consumption. I want to share with you some examples in our experience with waterless cleaning. But first, it is very important that you have a reference point to compare. In our country, the clean water consumption for one person per year is about 46,000 liters of water. Now, we're cleaning more than 300 trucks every month 
to the biggest postal courier company in our country using our technology and saving 1.2 million liters of water every year. Our public transportation operators clean their 2,500 buses every day using our technology and saving more than 7 million liters of water every month. Oil and gas companies are adopting this technology for the maintenance and cleaning of their storage tanks and uh, machinery. And uh, now I can say that we contribute to save more than 96 million liters of water every year in our country. Water that, that is not being discharged, polluting our bodies of water. Now, if this is the impact in our country, Colombia, that is a very small country, could you imagine the impact if we can adopt this type of technologies around the world, in all our, in all our countries, and in industries, and in home, and office? I am not saying that hyperdegradation is the only solution to this big world problem. I'm aware that there are other technologies working around this issue, which I personally applaud. But ours is a contribution, a very important contribution in the prevention of polluting our limited water resources. And it has been proven to work, and it's highly efficient. Let me invite you people to move from theory to practice, from your desks to reality, and become part of the solution in the prevention of water pollution by simply achieving some, if not all, of your cleaning tasks at home, office, and industries without using any water. Thank you very much.